Hey, what's up, besties? It's your girl, E. Michelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. If this is your very first time, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And while you're at it, just click the like button right now because you know you like this video already just from hearing my voice. Okay, I'm just playing, but still, if you can, just hit the like button. Okay, so um, I did my June budget, and I did it on this sheet, and I had some mixed reviews. People were like, oh, it's cool. I like it. Kind of like the old way whatever and so I wanted to make sure I let you guys know that I was still going to be doing the um kind of like the layout budget of it um this was just my this was just my monthly view for me to just be able to see everything like right away what I've paid and what I haven't so that's why this is here so since I um have another paycheck I just thought I would go ahead and get started with doing my budget with me so this is going to be my and the money is that we're going to be working with is 2011 okay so for this time um, you guys can go ahead and get your um, things out we're going to be working with the bills that are due from now until the end of the month which is when I get paid so anything in between now and those um, two time periods I fit into one paycheck and that is how I plan everything out I'm going to be doing a like full on um, how I started my budget type thing so um, for those of you guys who are looking for more information on getting started doing your own budget um, I can help kind of walk you through those steps so this is the second paycheck of the month for me and this is everything that's going to come out of there so we have my car note and um, if you guys have been following me for a while, I pay over my car note because I'm trying to pay it off sooner. So I do actually pay a set amount of $500, which is more than the actual car note is. But I do that so that I'm not, um, if anything happens, I'm usually like a couple, like a month or so ahead. But I want to get like further ahead. So anyways, um, the due date of that, I have this one on auto pay. And this one is on auto pay because I just, um, I was able to get it on the exact day that I got paid. So I like for that one to just come on out of there, like get out of my bank account. I don't want to see you that amount of money. And it's not changing. Like I know that that $500 is that $500. Okay. So then we have MLGW and that is a uh, Memphis light gas and water. And that bill is usually due on the 22nd. And this one fluctuates which is why it is not on auto pay but for those of you guys who have your electric company and you're doing like um i don't know if they call it smart pay where you guys are at but it's basically where you pay a set amount for like the whole entire year and it may be a little higher some months and it may be lower some months but it's like an averaged out of what you've been doing all of this time i am thinking about getting on that plan just because last uh, winter was a little rough with the um, bill and I was just like it is we cannot do another like $400 bill a month for like heat and electric and like that was just too much so I am considering that let me know down below if you guys have that and if you like it if you think it's good I had it back in college but um I was more so just kind of living I wasn't like living for real I wasn't adulting so um I don't think we were using as much energy as I'm using now okay so and then um, I have my Sprint bill and Sprint is due on the 17th and that is 123.21. Okay, and then Xfinity and that is on 625. And that's 76 77 now my Xfinity you guys if you watched any of my other ones I do have an Xfinity I have a Netflix and I have a YouTube bill and I'm almost getting ready to the point where I can like get down to some other ones but Xfinity and YouTube have to stay because Xfinity is my streaming like where I get my internet from excuse me and YouTube TV is where I get my um, like TV shows and stuff like that I can stream them live through that and I really like that so I'm keeping it and this this actually works out we're only spending a hundred dollars versus the 230 we were spending before okay and then we have Navient okay and that is 615 and 88 dollars okay and then Netflix and that's on 
$1,628, and that is now $1,532. They increased the price on that just a little bit. I don't know what the cause of that was, but they have. So, um, And then I have my iTunes, and this is the storage. Okay, and that is a six fifteen as well, and that's just two ninety nine. Um, I do have the X, and I have the two fifty six gigabyte storage, so I have to make sure I have the maximum amount of storage as possible. Okay, like that's just my life that I'm living. Okay, so then um, I also have some kind of like extra things going on this month. I have Father's Day. And um, that is on six seventeen, and we're sending my dad thirty five dollars, um, so that's cool. And then I also got a ticket. Um, when I was traveling back home last week, I got a speeding ticket, and he brought it on down because child, I was going eighty nine in the seventy. He was like, "Where are you going so fast?" I was like, "Sir, I have to go potty." He was like, "You just passed the exit." I said, "I know." I didn't know how that was going to work out, but he brought it on down to uh, $73 or whatever. So I just have to pay $120 and it won't go on my um, record or anything like that. So I'm going to pay them a check as soon as possible. Um, sometime actually tomorrow, like Monday or something like that. So anyways, I'm going to put that due on the 18th and it was $120. Ain't bad for a ticket. I've gotten higher tickets than that. Like y'all know um so i'm working on slowing down y'all pray for me okay just send up a little prayer that I, my foot will relax some <laughs> okay so let's um adding all of that up here let me get my good handy dandy calculator out okay so we're just going to add all this up so we have 500 plus 180 plus 123 21 plus 76, 77, plus 88, plus 15, 32, plus 299, plus 35, plus 120. Okay, so that puts me at 141, I'm sorry, 1141.29. So I'm just going to add that here as my um, total. 11.41.29 okay so out of subtract that from 2011 that leaves me with $869.71 remaining so I put my remaining here okay. 869.71 Okay, so I like to make sure I note like what I have remaining because then I go into my next, which is my cash envelopes and sinking funds. So um, I can literally just add those together. So I'll just write um, sinking funds, which came in handy for traveling, you guys. Like I was so excited to just have that money that I didn't have to worry about um, for traveling. I was able to just hop on the highway when that funeral happened and boom, didn't have to worry about how I was going to pay it, how I was going to do that. And this was like, I mean, it's not a first for me, but it felt so good to have that money there. So I am not giving up on that process at all. So um, I put in $80 there and then my cash envelopes. I have not changed yet um, gas prices are going back down and I'm still able to maintain it with those um, the amounts that I have in there and if you guys don't know what my cash envelopes and sinking funds are then you can go check out one of my previous videos I'll have it linked probably up here at the top so you can see so this is $500 so if we do the 869 minus 500 I don't need my calculator for this one this time so this puts my total at um, $500 so then remaining and I'm just writing this down just so I can make sure my math and everything is correct so that leaves me with three sixty nine seventy one dollars left over okay now some other things that I want to note um, what I want to do we have a birthday so we have a niece's birthday 
what I'm putting birthday birthday for I was I don't know what that was gonna be but anyways we have a birthday coming up and so we may want to put some money aside so I'm just gonna like make some notes over here birthday and I'm gonna put Jace um, because she just had a birthday so we might want to get her something um, just like a little dress or something for her second birthday um, and then down here so that may be something that comes out of that money um, my notes for this month would be um, putting extra money towards ties and um, savings because I did spend some of that money so I kind of want to put some of that money back and then I want to focus more um, from month set from month six to the end of the month I'm giving myself six months to really focus on giving more like I do a lot of offering giving and things like that but um, I really want to focus on giving a more set amount um, increasing that because I feel like if I increase it a little more uh, maybe we'll get some more blessings coming down this way um, I also need to start making preparations for my bonus check in July which I kind of know what we're going to do with it already but I just want to um, get a get a plan for it so um, those are things to think about um, things that you may be having coming up in the next month that you need to pay for or do or whatever because in the month of July um, I'm not really doing too much we're not going to see Beyonce and Jay-Z until August I believe so um, we may need to be saving that um, for that time or if we decide to just take a little small trip or something like that um i have some updates on finances and stuff that i can't wait to share with you guys but um this is this is where we're at here so this is where we're ending up we have this 369 remaining where are my highlighters i have no idea they have seemed to disappear off of my desk but i want to make sure i mark that i have 369 that would be the remaining balance oh and here here we go here we go um just in case um austin's dad doesn't pay for his camp we have to mark summer camp there we go so summer camp for two weeks is a hundred dollars yeah so i may need to have a hundred dollars of this taken out of there to use just in case um his dad doesn't come through with that but he said he was going to so i'm kind of okay with like not taking it out of there right now because he did say that he was but just in case something comes up i do know i have that extra money there to do so so yeah thank you guys so much for planning and budgeting with me i really appreciate it it's so helpful to just kind of walk these things through if you guys have any questions um please let me know i don't mind answering questions just hit me up you can hit me up down below in the comment section or on Instagram um, if you feel more comfortable I have personal questions um, I am not a financial advisor but I am definitely a listening ear and um, someone to sound some ideas off of I can give you what you know I think can't tell you if it's you know the right thing or whatever but yeah thank you guys so much and I will catch you in the next one Mwah! KK bye